Welcome to Love Marlene 411. Hey everybody, um, this is the very first video. Um, welcome to Love Marlene 411. And um, it's going to be a video, a video diary, definitely. Um, of me just, you know, checking in, saying some things that I have on my mind. Um, the things that right now I have the courage to say. Um, and it definitely does show personal growth. You are able to say things and not worry about, does that sound good? Am I gonna hurt anybody else's feelings? That you can stand in your own personal truth. You can accept what actually happened. You can be accountable for your own self and it feels good. So here goes, I'm gonna talk about, you know, this, this, I was not alive yet, but I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Um, the, the very beginning, you know, it was Brooklyn, New York. Um, my mom was pregnant with me. And, you know, back then, back in the day, there was a lot of wrong talk that physicians would have with patients and what was told to my mother and my father, because my mom was in her 40s, that if she had me, she was going to have a, a special needs child that I definitely was going to come out mentally retarded. And you know, the, the story about that is my mother already had she already had a special needs um, child. Um, my sister has special needs. Um, her her mental um, ability is only about the the age of a an eight or a nine year old. Okay. So with that being said, you know they told my mom, you know that she should definitely um, abort the pregnancy, and so. You know, my mother, she was definitely a religious person. And another thing that I can say is that at this time, my mother and my father already had, you know, together, they already had nine, nine children. And I would have been the 10th child. Um, my brother, who is in front of me, you know, number nine, he was already four years old and it would be starting over again in your 40s you know I think my parents both thought my brother was going to be their last child <laughs> actually if I'm completely transparent um how my mother told this to me when her period stopped she did not think that it was pregnancy my mother was excited because she thought it was menopause. So when she went to the doctor, she went to the doctor, you know, saying, hey, um, I'm going to need those pills um, for, you know, for menopause. Um, what, what, what do I need? Because I know I'm going to start having hot flashes. And she was going on and on about that. And the doctor was like, hot flashes? honey, you're not having hot flashes, you're pregnant. And my mother, <laughs> she told me, she said right then and there, I almost had a heart attack. And my father, which I know it makes no sense, but my mother said every time that she was pregnant, all 10 times, all 10, my, my father was shocked. And it used to make my, make my mother so upset that I like, what? How are you surprised that we're pregnant? So that's how um, the beginning of Marlene, you know, began. Um, 
it began with, you know, some doubt from my parents, you know, well, are we gonna actually have a special needs child? And can we handle that? Is that the role um, for us to have another special needs child? But um, at the end of the day, you know, my my mom and my dad make it, made a decision that if this child was already here, you know, in my womb, my mother said in her, if this child is in my womb, then it's meant for me to have and be. And if they do have special needs, then it's going to be my job to love them. And I do, I can say that that took a lot of courage. It, it took um, some faith, you know, but um, here I am, you know, when, when I was born, <laughs> um, I'm going to get into that in the next, um, in the next uh, video diary episode number two, um, my birth story. So Thank you so much for tuning in to Love Marlene 411. Um, this has been the story of finding out about me being, uh, that my mom was pregnant with me. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you're new to Mar Love Marlene 411, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe, share this out with someone who will really like my content. I know this is mainly going to be for a uh, female audience, but for all the males, all the men tuning in, thank you so much for your support as well. And let me know if there's, you have any other questions, a follow up. I may choose to do that as a live and answer your questions. I'll see you guys on the next Love Marlene 411. See you on the next Love Marlene 411.